Today we will try to build a homemade gym for free. I recently signed up at a local gym. Since then my bank account is draining. And it seems like I am not the only one with this problem. So I searched for a cheaper solution online and found this video with 10 million views. He fills sand into four bottles each side. Oh, he puts water in the sand so it gets even heavier. Where does he have this bathroom? We need another two big things. Okay, then we also need like a, a smaller bar. Yo, what is he doing? Where does he have all this stuff from? Oh, some old socks. Then we need a string. The goal for our build is to make a dumbbell, a hopefully heavy long bar, a multifunctional weight, you will see what that is later, and ankle weights. All right, we should have all the knowledge now to build those things ourselves. Let's start with collecting the items we need. I was running around the house in hopes to find everything on the list and it was going great until I try to find some bars. But if we are honest, 99% of people will not have them laying around at home. So we got two options, searching for similar bars online or going to a local store buying the cheapest bars I can find in hopes they will be stable enough for the build. In total, we only paid five bucks for the bars. We got our sand. Okay, I need your help. I wasn't sure if the workout equipment will really be heavy enough, but carrying the sandbox gave me hope because we are both absolutely soaked from just carrying this thing. Now we should be able to build our own DIY gym if everything goes as planned. What should we start building? I think we should start with the dumbbells. All right. Drilling a hole right here in the center. You can also use a knife. We'll keep those two pieces for later. We still need them. All right, so we got the first box finished. Moment of truth, let's see if it fits. I can already see this being a dumbbell. Then we did the same with the second box, but I actually destroyed the lid a bit while drilling. Let's hope it still holds the sand. We now have to cut this bar that works like a charm. It's going as planned right now, which is a bit suspicious because Things never go as planned. Yeah, right? Oh, boom. Nothing is leaking, which is perfect. And when the dumbbell was finished, my dad came by. Oh, God. <laughs> it's apparently not heavy enough for my dad. So we'll use some DIY tricks later to make it even heavier. But for now, let's do the long bar next. First step for the long bar is actually filling up the bottles with sand. This is going to take forever. <laughs> yeah, do you have a hopper? Here could maybe be one right besides the wasp nest. Yes, Whoa. that should work way better now. Uh, it broke. You owe me a hopper now. This literally took us 20 minutes. We got the bottles here, all full of sand. How are we going to do this? Probably with this rope here. Let's just try it out. I have no idea if this will work. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I think that doesn't work. I think we could fix it if we drill a hole right here. He's an absolute beast. Go comment, beast Nico. The idea was to fix every bottle in its place by going through the holes in the bar. But we still have a problem. They can go like this. There's literally not a single DIY project in history that doesn't use duct tape. This looks like absolute dog shit. I think it works. So we also did the other side, but then... Oh, shit. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> um... Yeah, I don't know about that. You think sand inside the pipe will stabilize it? We put holes in, in the pipe. Duct tape. Duct tape unfortunately didn't work this time. I think we should just remove the bottles again. Nah. And then, of course, duct tape. We filled it up, closed the other side. Feels a lot more stable now. The next equipment is just filling up bottles and putting your stick through them. Could definitely be heavier. Luckily yesterday, my mom brought me another empty bottle. It's way bigger. Oh, is this one heavy now? Let's see if our stick is still long enough. Now, the last equipment of our home gym. The sock couldn't hold the sand. Yeah, that's the problem. Duct tape. DIY, duct tape, basically the same thing. And now close it up. Um, there's like sand coming out of it everywhere. We'll now put the first old sock into the second old sock. Now it should work way better. Yeah. Then we use the rope to put sections in there and by just putting a rope around here and a rope around here, you can 
do not dare. It's pretty ugly, but it works. Hmm. There's only one more thing left. My dad said the dumbbell was too light, so we also filled the handles with sand. Oh, it's noticeably heavier. We finished the build, now let's work out with it. We'll try it out together. Before we started testing, we weighed all the equipment for this cool overview graphic. Did you look at it? Okay, cool. With this big bicep looking like it belongs to a young Greek god, of course he said this after using the dumbbell. Yeah, the dumbbell really could be heavier. Let's add some water then and see how heavy it actually gets. Is it leaking? No. It got two kilograms heavier. And we also noticed that hammer curls can be a bit risky with it. Four, two. I definitely have to dodge it. With the hammer curls, it could hit your head <laughs> because it's so long. I think that's Ooh, enough. It's enough. <laughs> Would you train with this thing? Yeah, of course. All right. To begin with, the dumbbell was really a bit light, but by filling up the handle with sand and adding water, it is now perfect and safe to train with. Here we got the next gadget. But I have to say for the bag, it's really not heavy enough. Maybe if we fill it up with water. With the water added, it got four kilograms heavier. My bicep is definitely working. For bag, it's a bit too light still. So let's hope at least our long bar is heavy enough for the bag. And will also not fall apart during the workout. This thing was one of the easiest to make and it's a great way to complement your workouts. These are actually some real ankle weights. Ours are definitely heavier. Let's see if you can put it on. Yeah, works pretty well. And now the real one. Yeah, definitely heavier. Let's do some box jumps. Oh. oh shit, one of the strings already snapped after three jumps. Well, that's not optimal. But hey, at least it was fixed pretty easily. It's still holding on. Box jumps have a pretty high impact and I honestly did not expect the ankle weights to be that durable. I mean, it kind of survived it. Did it add something to the box jumps? I think it added a little bit too much. Too much? You can do it with more sand, you can do it with less sand, however you like it. If you use a better rope and a newer pair of socks, you can easily make those ankle weights work even better. It's quite surprising to me because I thought this thing could maybe be a bit unnecessary, but Nico liked it. Yeah. We saved the last one for a special guest. Hassan is actually also here. Not anymore, as it seems. Are you ready for the long bar? I'm ready for this. Du, du, du. Try to pick okay. it up. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. Um, oh. Feels good. Do you dare to press it over your head? That's heavy. This one is already heavy without the water. Yeah. We, do, ah. we don't need water for this one. Okay. It's heavy enough, right? Right, right. This thing is actually more stable than I thought. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but it just works. I don't know why. Nice. Thanks, special guest Hassan. Oh, another one. If you have the option to use a bar that is a bit more stable, do it. But if not, three bucks will totally do the job. There are so many great ways of working out other than going to an expensive gym. You just gotta get a bit creative. And I hope this video will help some of you out there to start working out. And if you need some motivation for that, check out this video and subscribe and like the video. <laughs> See you next time.